Hello and welcome to this quick video all about how to reset a Pix hook or basically something running ArduPilot. Now this is to answer this chap's question here and at the moment I'm actually playing with a helicopter of all things with a Pix hook 6C from Holybro. So I thought you know what while I've got this all out let's talk about this. Now one of the really nice things about ArduPilot on Pixhawk style flight controllers is that when you update them they don't blow away the configuration. So all of the settings that are on this flight controller that you've set up for your accelerometer calibration, the radio calibration, how the ports are configured, all that jazz is retained. And that then can become an issue because if you make a mess of the settings, if you're playing with something, lose track of what you've played with and want to go back to a brand new fresh virgin install, how do you do it? Well, it's actually not too tricky. If we just plug this into the computer, and we'll click on connect. It'll connect up. And then we can see that if we go into messages, that it is uh, Ardu Heli and it's set up as a helicopter. Now, what we need to do in order to completely reset this is to flash it with another version of the firmware. So if we go into the setup tab, we say install firmware. This is currently installed with Ardu Heli. I would flash it with something like Ardu Plane and, and do that and then flash it back to Ardu Heli. And what that does is that completely overwrites all of the settings on here and it goes back to a default version brand new installation. If you are doing this, I personally would go into the CLI full parameter list and save the settings just so you have it for reference for further on. But this is the way to do it. If it's running something like ArduCopter, flash it with Ardu Plane, then back to ArduCopter. If it was something like a plane, I'd flash it with Ardu Copter or maybe Ardu Rover and then flash it back. And that's the way to reset it. So hopefully that explains it for you. It isn't immediately obvious that that's the trick, but using that will get you back to a completely fresh version install that you can start to set up again. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.